Hello guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this tutorial I am going to show you what are the seven major tips that can help you to do the API testing using Postman. So let's get started. Most of the time, like if we are doing API testing or using a Postman in it, then this is the go-to uh, kind of feature that we are using, especially with Postman. So this is a tool. Uh, this is a kind of a uh, feature basically allows you to import any kind of request from a web browser. So for example, I give you that uh, this is your Postman, and uh, uh, let's do a simple request. Uh, generally, I'll, I'll go to request response dot in, and uh, what we can do. Uh, we have let's do a simple thing uh, and we have I have already like used this tutorial or uh, this kind of API in the previous tutorial so that's why I have so this is one of the get request and suppose I want to import into the postman then I have to write all the stuff right what I can do is that I can right click on it click on inspect element go to the network tab and just refresh this tab and here uh, as you can see that this request is going on and uh, we have request URL and in the response we, we are seeing that this is the response that we are getting and as well as request header what kind of headers they have sent so all the information is available in Chrome what we can do is the right click on it click on copy copy as curl and now what we can do we can import this request so this is the important button if you go to this file import or directly click on this import and here what you can do you can import any kind of request that you have saved in certain formats for example uh, this request that I have import this is a curl request right so this is the curl request I'm going to paste it and I'm going to click the import button now what will happen as you can see it is imported directly into the postman and all kind of headers that we have used uh, that particular browser I have used as already like uh, you can say imported into it right so this is one of the important or you can say very good feature I will say it's a very uh, awesome feature for a postman and what you can do if you think about it uh, if you just hover around it it will give you what you can import you can import any kind of postman collection curl request that we have done you can uh, import RA ML, WADL and open API files. These are like another kinds of different uh, you can say API type of request or this is a particularly connection you can import anything like. So this is the first feature that I like most about the Postman. So uh, let's come to the second one and uh, as I have mentioned you can do the paste, paste as row and request and you can definitely use that. Uh, this is another important uh, you can say a feature of postman what you can do is that you can create collections right uh, for example this I have created a particular collection of users where these are like different request this is a get request this is a post request this is a patch request for same kind of user so these are all related kind of uh, uh, request but they have different kind of methods stpp method right but we can what we can do is that we can combine them into a single collection right so what's the advantage of creating a collection for example if you have user similarly you can have a different collection you can share your direct correct collection with anybody you want and you can directly run this collection also if you go to this icon and there is a button which is uh, run and it will give you a collection runner menu and it's a runner which basically allows you to run this request one by one so first of all the get this one this one will be executed this one after this after this after this after this and after this so collections are important if you are uh, using postman in any kind of your api testing definitely i would recommend you to use collections create collections as much as you can so that uh, you have a structure structure of environment of uh, any kind of request that you have all right okay let's jump jump to another and uh, another thing that you can do is that you can run your collection as i've already mentioned you whenever you have finished your connection to run it will give you a very 
uh, wonderful looking report and uh, it will mention that what kind of requests have passed and you can just debug it around it means you can debug directly your uh, full collection but what are the steps and what kind of particular request that have been failed all right that makes sense right cool and uh, you can create collection using this plus bucket button and right and uh, you can create as much collections as you want postman allows um, like in probably infinite collections you can create another thing is that uh, well you are doing a api testing using postman i would recommend if you have a created certain kind of collections and you know the expected output of them create certain test scripts i i'm going to attach my text exam post request text example as well as another tutorials along with it if you want to watch it watch it out it out and uh, where i have discussed more about uh, how to write better test case using api uh, using api testing using postman especially so uh, you can leverage the test cases and uh, if you go to this url there are like number of uh, different examples that i have already discussed and it's the official documentation of postman where they have discussed how to write pro pro proper test cases and how we have modified i have discussed that thing in my video right so write proper test cases this is my tip number three so and another thing you can use uh it's a kind of a tip for uh basically i would say it's a 3.1 or 3.5 you can take anything right like so what you can do you can create sub folders also for example user have certain uh, features so you can create another folder which will be another collection right so you can have sub folders also this is another feature that we like about most about uh, postman right okay another important thing that i have seen like lots of uh, even advanced api testers are not utilizing are the json schema validation guys this is very important thing when we are doing the api testing what you can do is that you have a json schema for example you have a particular get request and you know about the get request what kind of key value pairs are getting right what you can do you can create a schema out of it and every time the response comes you can compare the schema using the tiny tiny validator uh, framework which is available into the test tab of your postman this is one of the important and advanced concept of postman and uh, i have a tutorial around it you can watch it out so this is like a proper if the first check of your api testing that the structure that you are getting is matching for example uh, you have particular api and you have three keys you are uh, you are getting for example and you have a bug uh, in bug in like in back back end and for example after third day you are getting a fourth key means you will not able to check it out using a simple testing methods right what you can do is create a schemas and schema validations will fail in this case this is like a, one of the like first check of api test if you think about so you can uh, definitely uh, leverage this uh, json schema validation feature in postman and i have a tutorial you can watch it out right another important th thing about postman you can do is that you can use bdd style uh, test cases in test tab of postman and uh, we have used it uh, you can go to this url just copy paste this uh, first request and uh, you can leverage the test cases after uh, like describe and it blocks as we have in jasmine mocha and whenever we are doing a uh, probably angular react related test ca test cases right and uh, if you if you belong to a java background then definitely uh, this describe it block is uh, like uh, you will not able to much understand but if you know about how to what is protector and uh, how we uh, we are we, we create generally kind of test cases in jasmine and mocha especially using web driver js then this is like uh, you can say one of the easiest way to test create test cases right and uh, we have tried it into our EV even we have tried it and we have we are extensively using it because it creates a very simple you can say it blocks sometimes in postman and you can leverage these test cases right cool another thing uh, important uh, point is that for example if you have a collection and there is a request for example there's a one two three four five request and if you want if certain condition for example if i didn't get the response in second request i want to jump to four what you can do you can use this awesome feature of postman which allows you to control the test flow so you can uh, write in test tab of a postman that uh, if the condition of id is null then you can go to the request number four 
and you can mention the name of it so now and now what you can do you can control the flow for example you can jump your uh, collection from 2 to 4 and 4 to 3 and 3 to 5 and whatever you want to do right so this is another uh, you can say most important feature of control for uh, postman right uh, this is uh, like uh, you can say bare bone of postman you can create an environmental variable environmental label like and as well as the dynamic variables which can you can leverage for example uh, what you can do you can create a variable for your application right uh, for example there is a particular collection you want to run in staging as well as in production now you don't have to hard code the url every time you can use your you can create a different environments for example a staging environment and a production environment in production environment the variable will be different for example your account will be different your logins will be credentials will be different and in the test uh, test environment these credentials and all, all things will be different right what you can do you can just uh, click on you can directly just switch from different environments and your collection will not be like hard coded one and you can leverage this feature of uh, awesome feature or of environment as well as dynamic variables right so uh, and uh, if you know about it that environment and dynamic variables like they have uh, certain types or scopes they have global uh, collection ones and environments and particular i have described this into a separate video where we are just uh, focused on environment and dynamic variables you can check it out right so these are like seven important these are like 7.5 i would say that seven important tips or you can say the features of postman that we like and i especially like it and let me know which uh, which feature you like in api testing especially using postman and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial i hope you have liked this tutorial and do watch my other tutorials if you want to get more depth of api testing and postman right and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. It makes my day and I feel very energetic to connect with you, right? I hope uh, you have done the like and subscribe, right? And see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.